During Apple's 2021 WWDC, one of the most exciting features that came out for the Mac OS was universal control. When Craig Federighi demoed that feature, it was one of the most impressive features that all of us have seen. We all waited in excitement to get this feature when Monterey was released, but it was not. It got delayed for several months and we just finally got it. And it is as impressive as it was demoed. So let's take a look at it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this quick video, I will be showing you um, Apple's new universal control that was released with Mac OS 12.3 beta and iPad OS 15.4 beta. Uh, I've tested it a little bit, it works great and I'm going to give you a little quick tour of how to enable it and how it would work in real life and I'm sure there'll be some improvements because I noticed a glitch with transferring folders over and I will try that again right now on video and see what you think. So to enable universal control you would go into the displays and settings and on the left here you do add display and if you're on the same Wi-Fi network you should be able to see them all and here's my iPad just make sure it doesn't sleep so once you add the display you get this little window here that shows you everything it shows you how you want to position your screens so I've got mine on the right so this is on the right I can turn it to the left and actually I can actually move it up and down if I want to so if I want to have the mouse going across a different area when I switch over to the iPad oops that back down for now now there's another little thing called with display settings here that has additional options so you could choose your display here and you could say how you want to use it if you want to use it as a keyboard and mouse and or if you want to have it as an extended display and there we go took a second so now I don't want to enable that so now I got this as an extended display like it worked before, but I will switch it back because I want to see universal control. That's what we are really interested in seeing. So let's go back, link keyboard and mouse. So, and there's another thing in advanced settings that has more options for universal control. It allows you to switch these on because of beta and it gives you the option to allow the cursor to use as we're gonna see in a second here to use and move between the two and allow the mouse to actually, when you go to the edge of the screen, to push through to the other side. And you have an option here, which I don't have enabled yet, is to automatically reconnect. So if this screen of the on the iPad goes dark, you'd have to go back into display settings and select, you have to go here and add a display again. So those are basically all the options and I'm gonna close this out now. And as you can see, I can move with my trackpad here. This is part of my Intel Mac mini here. I can go here and I can actually manipulate things and and it works just as you would expect. It works great. Uh, if I want to, let's say I have a note here and I want to drag this picture over, pulls it right in as you would expect. That's neat. And I can continue working with it and I'm typing on my main keyboard here and I can type. And type on this keyboard and continues typing that's pretty neat so okay I'll close this out that worked great uh, another thing I could do is go to my files area and let's say I want to transfer this file over okay that worked I have a folder here that I just dumped in a couple of test files let's see if this works because I've had issues with this where it just seemed like it was stuck and there's no indication that oh there it is that must be a bug because when I was initially trying this I did not see this so that's pretty cool so let's see yeah, there they are okay, so this is a temp folder here I can delete it All right. it looks like it's a little bit finicky when it gets to the edge of the screen all right, so I want to pull this folder back in. Uh, this is the part I had an issue with was pulling folders from the iPad. It just seemed like it didn't like it. And I got this icon as you see here, which looks more like a link. I did not see any indication that the folder's coming over and I just waited and at some point I just stopped waiting. But so far it works great. I can actually use the trackpad here. Trackpad 
and it goes right over. It works fine. I can actually manipulate things. I can actually use type. If I want to say type and do something and look for something, it just works. Works fine. That's pretty neat. So everything seems to work for, for beta one. This is fantastic. It works great. So hopefully they'll improve on this part that I've noticed here, which I don't like. Because I'd like to be able to put my external drive somewhere and just pull folders in with data. And this doesn't seem to work. And even if I click it, if I double click and nothing's happening, uh, it took them in pretty well. And they're, they're small files. It's not, they're not that big in size. So in total about 200 megs, it shouldn't really be an issue to pull 200 megs with the Wi-Fi connection, but there it is. If there's anything else you'd like me to test out, uh, let me know and I'll do a subsequent video and test that out and show you what how it works. Thanks for watching.